In this lesson, I'll show you how to create these LinkedIn bio pages in Flowdesk. What's cool about them is that they are act as a mini hub for your content. So you can send people to this page from social media, podcasts, seminars, and so on. And this gives you an easy way to promote your, uh, yourself on other social media, uh, promote your products or services, or just get people sign up for your newsletter. <laughs> Hello, internet people. My name is Robert, and I help creators with the technical side of the business. And this is the seven lesson in my complete Flowdesk course. To see this whole course, click on this video banner and it'll take you to a YouTube playlist where you can just choose what you want. So let's get started with this lesson. And lastly, let's take a look, quickly look at the link in bio. Works the same as full page. From here, if you choose one of these, let's say, just to show you quickly, this one segment, let's say it's the generic one, save. And here again, it works exactly the same way as the other forms and email builder. So if you click on the anywhere here, you can adjust the form settings first. So if you click on the background from here, there's actually quite a lot of settings. You can see there's a lot of stuff that they may, maybe not needed. So I'm going to remove the image. So you see it just disappears. Let's say this uh, logo also don't need it from here. I like to keep this one. Yes. Uh, for example, these fields, these are OK. But let's say I don't need this stuff here at the bottom, like bio. Uh, social media icons actually i'm not gonna put it because i'm gonna send people from my social to this one so i'm gonna just disable it so now what we can do is also adjust the message so if somebody signs up here we can adjust the message from here same thing as with the other ones so let me set the friendly one you can also use the custom and then write your own message so if somebody gives you their email this is what they're gonna see all right and then the same way you can adjust here, for example, if you don't want to ask for the name, you could just delete this or if you really want it then then make it required. I'm going to just delete it. If you want to ask some other questions, you have a few options here. And then from here, you could also adjust these links. Uh, just have your services here or any other things you want to promote. So the email newsletter is the first thing and then you have other things here. So and you adjust it the same way as anything else. You just click on it and then you can change the text. Oh yeah, and one sneaky thing here is you need to click on this whole block to add a link to it. So if you click on it, then you can actually add a link. Here you can just add a link to whatever page you want. And also you can adjust how many links you have here. So you can add more, you see? From here, you can add four. Let's say I just have two, then you can adjust it from here. But it's a bit sneaky. It took me some time to actually discover this one. And you can also adjust the style and the block, the whole thing here, you can adjust it. And in case you need to test this, you can always also see how it looks on mobile. If you, have a lot of, if you have a lot of mobile traffic, then definitely check it out that it looks good. But with Flowdesk, it usually does. Once you've done everything here, if you click on next, here the settings are exactly the same as on landing page. So should we enable double opt-in? I'm going to say no, just when you're starting out, it's easier to build up your email, email newsletter uh, if you don't have the double opt-in. So let's click on continue. If when subscriber opts in, do you want to get notified? In my case, I don't want to, but you know, when starting out, you might want to have a few, few first ones, but then it gets overwhelming. And then uh, after this form is submitted, what do we do? We display the success message, but we could also redirect them to another URL. I'm going to show the success message and then click on continue. Now we can copy this. Let me open a new window and if I paste it in, this is our uh, bio, link in bio page. So now we could put this in our social media and just direct everybody here and start building our email newsletter and at the same time also promote our services. Now one thing here, you might have noticed this is pretty ugly. Um, you can change it the same way as for landing pages. You just come here, customize link, click on this one and you could now say link in bio or something like that and then save it. And as with the other one, this you can adjust in your account. So in the next lesson, I'll teach you how to use workflows. This is probably the most powerful feature of any email marketing software because basically you can automate a lot of things. To learn more about this, just watch this video right here.